Today I'm cutting off the chin strap for my helmet to make sure that nobody else uses it. Three weeks ago I wiped out on my bike and this helmet is no good anymore. I had a high speed wobble on the highway and kissed the pavement at 100 kilometers an hour. This is my $300 Scorpion helmet and not any damage to my head whatsoever. This helmet uh, held up amazing. I've had a lot of mixed feelings about posting a video on this. It was quite a terrifying experience. It was a beautiful Saturday morning and we had the bikes loaded up to go camping. Going along a two-lane highway and I got a high-speed wobble and lost control, went down. I don't think there was one specific thing or reason. There was a lot of different variables that could have helped throw the bike into a wobble. Heavy crosswinds, the wind draft off the semi-truck, the tar patches on the road. My front end was a lot lighter because the back end was loaded heavier than usual. My head was so close to that tire of the semi-truck that he thought he ran me over. The guy in the pickup truck behind me thought uh, the way I rolled that he, he didn't think I would be getting up. Not to worry. Nothing that a few band-aids, a little polysporn, and a lot of duct tape can't fix. We were going camping so in my backpack I was carrying the chips and they were my airbags. I walked away with road rash and a broken shoulder blade, my scapula. My motorcycle jacket protected me fairly well. Uh, the elbow armor though was too loose on my body and it slid to the side so my elbows ate the pavement. Uh, the same with my legs so trust me a uh, road rash does not feel good. <laughs> Makes you appreciate all the simple little tasks and movements that your body can do without even thinking about it. Uh, the DR held up really good. Uh, it's got minor cosmetic damage. Uh, Rare racks were a bit out of alignment, but I bent those back into shape. Got the whole front end apart. Uh, the forks completely taken apart and cleaned up. I inverted the spacer to lower them at the same time. The slight cr scratch there at the bottom, but it's nowhere close uh, to affect anything. Uh, remounted some plastic on the rear case. Best uh, thirty dollar ever spent. Uh, the stock bars, of course, took uh, most of the impact, and that's where the damage is on the handguard. I torched it a bit to mold it back into shape, but uh, it had scratched uh, or grinded quite a bit of the plastic and the aluminum down. Bars bent a bit, but we got uh, new MSR aluminum bars, and they're the KX high bend. I, I'm still waiting on the fork seals and the dust caps to put those back together and we're doing the stem bearings too just to be on the safe side. Once that's done I'll button everything back up. Good news is today I picked up a new helmet, Shoei. It is actually a $600 helmet which is crazy. But it was the last one in my size and it was actually $160. Very lucky, healthy, I'm healing very fast, um, feeling a lot better. It's been just over three weeks now.